All right, let's see here. So, um, good evening, everyone. I have about uh, about an, almost an hour, about an hour to hang with you guys before I have to do. Uh, I'll be doing a one-on-one, -on -one. but until then, we actually had just had a quad rotation here. We had an excellent one. It was the first quad rotation sent out the kind of just on the radio alert there, but. Again, to kind of go over quad rotation, all four stochastics get into an oversold level at the same time. They all come down at the same time. Sometimes the, the 9 3 will be bouncing around, waiting for the 14 3, waiting for the 44, waiting for the 60 10. And once they all get down together, that's when you usually get that bounce. And in, the, in that bounce, there was actually that little candle that came down. And that's what we call the, that's a sneaky little divergence there. You can't really see it unless you have the trained eye. <clears throat> also, the, uh, the rock bot took both, took the signal, had a nice profit, and then the uh, five minute just came out with a signal too. So this is what we call a dual, you know, dual divergence. We have a five minute. We have a uh, well, that's actually the one minute and three minute. The five minutes up on the left here. So one three one minute three minute time frame. So a lot, you know, even though it's uh, seven forty at night, seven fifty at night, a, lot, a couple people in the room took that trade. Uh, Market. I'm pulling back a little off of that, but I would see I would watch this and see if we get some follow through to the upside The um, the day was interesting. I had pretty severe selling all day And uh, especially at the end of the day we started to see some good selling in the market We're gonna just go back and kind of walk you through the markets here <sighs> um, I got a little before nine o'clock so we already had that drop at 8:30. Some um, some uh, economic data came out, but that turned right into a little divergence. And again, remember our setups. We keep you out of trouble here, day trading radio. To, to prevent over trading by only taking qualified setups, and those qualified setups are one of three usually: a pure divergence like this, or any type of divergence where you have a low, a lower low, a low, and a higher low. Very simple. That was actually probably one of the the best setups of the day right there on that drop <clears throat> from that point on you can probably measure a trend line underneath this and start to ext extend that just like that we might have had that markets moved up 930 we open up we move up we have our first flag because we're embedded here kind of really strong on the 6010 this pulled back and we kind of had this little 50 2050 um, flag right here had a nice pop on that flag and that's as far as you want to get on that you know flags are only going to give you that pop and then we kind of finally broke down here and we're not looking for much we're only waiting for our setup so i'm only going to announce the setups and this is a zello alert the zello alert went out at 10 30 so give you an idea for those out there who might get in this video for the first time what a zello alert is Zell alert is our hot this is our special alerts that go out that represent divergences in case you're not in front of your computer you get them on your phone real fast like a walkie-talkie and they also save for you and stuff and there was about 20 20 alerts today let's take a look at this one at 10 30 if i have one at 10 30 here good morning traders the first hour of trade is behind us futures are down markets are down but we are entering our first quad rotation zone here 5127 first quad rotation zone that's when multiple time frames are oversold this is not a buy trigger this is just an update that we're very close to a bounce if possible if we get a bounce and a retest it might set, set up for a super signal but we are, we do have a better opportunity for a bounce here so i just kind of went over that that setup here as we as we had that set up there let me stop that here Question in the room here. I close them. You, um, no, not at all. Is it harder to trade this time of night due to low volume? <coughs> Actually, it's a little easier for me. Sorry for my coughing. Um, it's easier, especially if you're trading in proper valuation accounts. First of all, there's no volume on your account. There's no real contracts that are going in on the market. The signals are going to give you just a, as good as signals. Divergences will work. The range might not be there, but that's acceptable because we still know that we know that and we could adjust and take our trades off this is all about still sticking to the game plan still talking about you know still taking the divergence or the quad rotation it has nothing that really it doesn't really have much to do with volume 
Uh, if the news came out, yeah, that would make be a different thing. But you can't tr- trade in fear like that, thinking every t- you know that it's no no volume and no. So absolutely no. I actually like the overnight trade better because it's not as whippy. It's easier to see the setups and uh, and there that. So that's our first Zello alert, and we actually had a beautiful bounce on that. And that was our first, and that ended up being a little divergence here. So um, what we we're looking for is that right here, that candle was the quad then we just had a little bounce not, not a big bounce that you could recognize it but that was the that was the divergence right there and that was caused to move up here now market moved up we got overbought and it rolled right over and, and this market owes you nothing it owes you nothing you know so you have to take profits you can't I, I talked about this a lot today kind of got funny on it but you know you can't smoke the hopium like just hoping the market's going to continue you have to get your setup know that it was easy money and take it off and know that there's another setup down the road. Um, <clears throat> market sold off hard, hard here. You don't know if you're going to get in here, 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 but you don't have to make that decision. You have to wait for that divergence. That's the best setup right there, the divergence. So um, market came in here. We had a little divergence. We started seeing that lift off on 40, 45. Did I do a, a Zello there? Let me take a look at my next Zello alert. Let's see what that is. 48. Let me see what this looks like. What this sounds like. We do have that confirmation, a little divergence here. Keep your stops really tight. If you do take this long side, I'll put a stop right at the lows of the day here. So, so that was a um, that was that divergence. We took that long there. Then uh, got a little bounce on that. <laughs> Market moved up here at a quad rotation up against the trend line. And I kind of mentioned that. I said, you know what? We have a big trend line here. I mean, this is a point where, yeah, the one, well, actually, there wasn't a trend line there yet. This established a trend line. Later on in the chart, we have the big trend line. Right over All right, so we'll go back here. So market here turned over. Um, <clears throat> we had a nice sell side divergence here. A high, a lower high, high, lower high. Sold right off into that divergence. Then we had this. This was my golden one. I could spot this all the time. You see the little lip? I call this a lip divergence. It's a little low here. Quad rotation. And then we had just a little bounce. And then this candle right here was bouncing. It came down and flushed and almost took out the lows. I circled the candle. And you see that little lip here? I don't know. You can barely see it. But that little dip back up here gave us that pretty decent angle on that divergence. So I would say it's probably a 10, 10 degree angle just to, to be, you know, eight, nine, 10 degree angle, a little higher than eight, um, right about there. So that was at 115. Um, let's see what that says. It took a little long here on a possible three minute divergence at 1594 with a stop at 1590. So we never even hit our stop. Profits on that divergence, but divergence setting up on a one-minute time frame. Now we're gonna keep our stop in at the lows, and we're gonna let this run a bit. So this was the one you wanted to run. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to turn that shit off. So this is the one that you really. This was multiple time frames. It was the one minute and the three minute. Got a real nice run here. Went up about 92 to uh, 102 is 10 points, almost 20 points, I would say 16 points. Um, market came down, quad rotation here, a little bounce, got overbought, rotated back down, got a quad rotation here, a little bounce. Look at this divergence right here. This was a key divergence. Now, I, I remember this divergence because I was afraid it might turn into a bull flag because uh, we are getting that rotation. This was kind of pointing up a little bit. What happened was the divergence really was a good divergence. It dropped off pretty hard into a quad rotation, another small bounce. And then this was a textbook divergence right at the end of the day, 345. 345, I mean, at that point I was done trading. <laughs> But, but I sometimes see these great divergences right at the last few minutes of the trade. And there we go. Market here actually starting to rally here. Uh, rallying off of that quad. And what do we say? We said it was probably the low, low here. 
All right, so that was it. The, the, the day was over, and uh, some news came out. Market sold off pretty hard. On um, I think we had some earnings in a AMD, SMCI, Starbucks. Starbucks got hammered. Amazon is uh, well, it's hanging around sideways. Not much going on there. AMD got hit pretty hard. So market sold off. And we got down here right now. Now the market opened up here. And this is what I like, you know. Sitting down here with you guys right now and, and seeing this right here. Seeing a quad rotation divergence right there. Right here. Giving you a shout out on the radio for those who are out there. And a lot of, you know, some of us got in here. And it is now pushing back up to, uh, right at the highs here. And then remember, this could be, this is on the five. And again, if we look at the rock bot, you could see that it was a one minute and a three minute time frame. Three minutes still active and still pushing higher. When we have the dual indicators, dual, uh, dual divergences on dual time frames, that's usually a big, big move coming. Now, this is overnight. Sure. I mean, we're not going to, we're not going to see the volume and stuff like to come into that. But hey, the right, it was already on the right side. Everyone is already winners. We're winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, next one. Um, and that's where we left off right now. So I got my accounts. I just got my accounts. I think I got all four of them. Did I get four or three? I don't even know now. I got one, two, three. Four. I have four accounts. Four. I picked up four. So tomorrow we have the FOMC rate decision. The market probably will drift up into that. I and mean, it's already have it already like damaged goods right now. First of May. We'll see how that is historically what the first of May brings. May Day. I'm surprised the Stock Trade Almanac hasn't uh, given us an update on May Day here. Let's see if we could find something on that. I should call him up, bother him at dinner. All right. Um, there we are. Thank you, Jeff. May's first trading day, S&P 500 run Russell, higher 69.2% of the time. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a nice, uh, that's nice. And I'll, again, those coupons expire tonight, by the way. So if you want to jump on that 90%er, get that tonight here, DTR90. So um, again, here, May's first trading day, S&P 500, Russell 2000, higher 69.32% of the time. It's pretty big. Let's read up on it. Let's see what it says here. The first trading day of May has been bullish, has a bullish history over the past 26 years. The Dow, S&P, and Nasdaq all have an average of around 0.4% on the day. S&P and Russell have a best track record of 18 times of the time since 1998 with an average gain of 0.21%. Russell 2000 is slightly weaker. May's first trading day's worst loss was in 2020. <coughs> Dow yet over 2.5 percent, but that, again, that was in the midst of the pandemic. So, um, well, that's it. You know, here we go. Some news, some <laughs> some news on this. 2023, we're down. Before that was a big day up, and then we were down. So, hmm. Anyway, I was waiting for that update, and we got it. We've got the update there. Markets here at the highs. So, so tomorrow going into the two o'clock, I picked up four prop accounts, 25k ones, and we're going to take two long, two short. Um, I'll probably have some buy triggers and you know short triggers set up. Maybe maybe take one right into the announcement. Put some targets, spread some targets, 10 to 20 points away, and see if we get hit. If we get hit anything. 
Uh, it'll be fun, a fun little project. Again, that's always a gamble. That's a gamble trade right there. It's not a technical trade that we normally do. We'll be doing that all day. All day. But, you know, for an opportunity sometimes to qualify on uh, an event, you got to be in it to win it, right? So we're going to take an opportunity on that. And what else do we have? Markets here. I think that's it. I want to get this video out, just kind of get it out there. A little update, a little review of things that we looked at today. If you want those Zello alerts, you can go to... Um, patreon.com forward slash day trading radio if you're not a day trading radio member they are very very uh, good and um, their introductory offer just twenty dollars a month twenty dollars a month if you're a day trading radio member you get it with your membership they have nothing to worry about and if you want to you know <clears throat> continue to support this uh, support the trade alerts here you can always go to patreon and uh, <laughs> get you could do a patron too. All right, so that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the markets tomorrow morning, and I'm I'm trading tonight a little, so I'll be here and there. Have a good one.